guys, it's Danny from Inglorious Fishing, and we're going out checking the lobster pot and maybe doing a bit of rod fishing. Stay tuned. Here we go. So guys, first strings up, first pot. Little velvet swimming crab there. It's no good to us, we don't keep them. Got a brown edible there, female. You go going back, you can always tell by the small claws and the pouch on the females. So I'll be going back, that's going. And we got another, oh it's a dead velvet crab. That's it for that pot guys, it's the first pot, second pot I think I've seen a lobster, yep we've got a lobster, so we've got a shanker there first guys, peeling shanker, another big velvet swimming crab, I hate these things, and we have a lobo wobbo, whether it's in or not I don't know, I'm about to test it now for size, check it, and it looks in, it's going to be close, that, that's in, that's the keeper, that's one lobster baby, that's a good start, one lobo wobbo, that's it, velvet crab gone, and brown shanker, anyway guys, stay tuned, I'm going to bake these up, we'll play these out, and we'll get on to the second set, some glorious fishing. So guys, second string's up, absolutely dismal this string, little shanker, that's it in the inkwell, it's absolute dire. Second pot, 
little spider crab. No good to no one. Absolutely waste of time. So stay tuned. We're going to get on to the third and final set. It's inglorious. I'm using for fishy jays, some nice bass frames there. Anyway, give you a glimpse of the pot here. First pot, lobo wobbo, a few velvet crabs, a couple of shankers. It's not going to be big enough that. So, I think that one's going to go. Straight back down. Anyway, we'll empty that one. Second pot, we've got nothing again. So we'll bait these up guys, we're gonna head back out and we'll do a little bit of fishing hopefully, so stay tuned, it's some glorious fishing. So off, I've decided to come up to the pipe. We're going to fish a bit with feathers. I'm using feathers. They're tipped with scallop frills in hope of a big bream. So let's get down there. We're right over the mark now. We're just going to drift over it and hopefully we'll get into something. So let's have a look. Um, we're a little bit off the mark actually. Stay tuned and I'll just get us back on it. Well guys, I just moved down to the mark again, so get these frills down and hope for the big bream. Yeah, big bream right here, so hope for a nice two, three pound over do me nicely just to start off the sesh. But we'll see what's down there. Could be scarred match. Oh we are look, fish on. Didn't even reach the bottom guys. Yeah. Hey, it's a little mackerel. There's a 
load of these nearly little mackles here. That's perfect line for me. Perfect line for me. Oh God, to come back up for another drift. Oh, get the, oh no, stop being hooked. Let's get back down there as soon as possible. There's loads of markings down there straight away. Uh, I can see them on the sound though, they go from 100 foot all the way to just past 75. So there's big shoulder something down there, bream, scad, mackerel, who knows. We'll soon know in a minute when we hook into them. There we are guys. Fish on. There we. Oh no, missed him. Next time. Guys, we're on the bottom now. Yeah, fish on. Oh, this is going well. Going really well. Could be a nice bream, this guys. Going well. Go. This is the bream I've been wanting. Green there, guys. Check that bottom one out. It's a stonker. Two bream on that drop. Nice oh, little black bream there. Beautiful. Second one's a bit of a better one. Nice black bream that, guys. Beautiful fish. Fighting fish. That's good. Alright, get back down. There's a load of markings. They could be mackerel now and not bream. Fish on. Yeah. Giving a good account of itself, guys. Guys, oh, bending the rod. Probably a bream. Oh, you never know here. Yeah? You really never know. Look at that. Like I said, you never know. You've got a cuckoo wrasse, a lovely cuckoo wrasse, and a lovely giant scad there. Look at that. And a cuckoo wrasse. Well, hell, where the hell did that come from? Beautiful collars to the cuckoo wrasse. One set of gnashes on them, the cuckoo rass. Look at that for a lovely fish. Lovely colours to him. He's brought up his swim bladder. I'll just give that a little puncher. And uh, she'll swim straight back down. But look at the colours on that. I'll give you a quick glimpse of that in a minute, guys. Got a lovely scad as well. Just going to get down. There's absolutely loads of markings. There's a big spike there. There must have been something there. Fish on straight away, guys. Just under the boat. Just under the boat. Didn't even get down 10 feet. Three mackerel. Three lovely mackerel there, guys. They're not big at all, they're prime size. You're fishing for bass. Well guys, we came back up, we've just re-released that cuckoo rasp, just took a couple of photos on that. Re-released him. Get straight down, there's markings. I've just missed the end of the pipe, just, but there's still markings down there, so we should took into some fish. Hopefully. That's the plan. There we go, guys. Fish on. Ah. Absolutely loads of mackerel out here at the moment in the Channel Islands. We started late. 
there'll be a couple here, there can't be just be one. Two macro on the scad guys. Oh right. guys, we're back and I've loaded them up with scallop first. Let's get down there and mock up and don't mock around and get down there. Mock around, don't get down there. Yeah, whatever, Dano. Messed up my words a bit there, but hey, you know what I mean. Let's get down there, baby. Like I say, we're after the mackerel. We're after the bream. There we are, fish on. Straight away. Fish on. Gonna be mackerel again, guys. Plenty of mackerel around. Two mackerel. Is you gotta get to the bream. So much mackerel. Can't get to the bream. Look, it's that lovely sized mackerel. Not too big, not too small. One little black bream. You get some absolute stonkers here, guys. Some big three, four, five pounders on this mark. So, let's hope for one of them. There we are. Fish. Fine fish. Try again. We're right over the kill zone now. What I like to call the kill zone. Again, loaded up with scallop frills, five feathers, all got scallop frills on. 
green can't resist that. Loads of all the, the black and the yellow orange guts. Black green particularly love that. Rough ground, open, big blacks. Size black bream that at all, guys. Lovely fish. Got a scad on there as well. Black bream. Got a scad. Let's get back down. They still start to keep tearing at these baits, guys. Still fish, so I'm not moaning. The mackerel seem to have faded off, but green was still there. Scared. Guys, there's a video of Condor coming in, dropping all the fast ferry passengers off. Look at that thing go for the water. the waves off of it. I'm going to have to get the boat turned around so the bow's facing it because I've got a huge wave coming towards me. So stay tuned baby. It's a glorious fishing. Look at that wall of water coming towards me. See it? Well guys, we've got no more bait left. This is literally the last of the bait. So we're going to get down there. There's plenty of markings. Hopefully this gets the epic bream. We had some nice ones on the last drift. So hopefully this drift. Alright. Fish on. That's a better fish. Well, the initial point was. Yep. Head bangs, typical green that. See him? Top hook. Oh. Not a 
find no brain. Right, let's just pull back up. I'm literally just going to go 10 yards, guys, just so we're on the other end of the pipe. Makes all the difference, believe it or not. You wouldn't believe such a small trek makes such a difference. Literally, that is it, guys. That's the trek I'm talking about. That's how big it was. Next to nothing. It should just produce some bigger green. Hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> On straight away. Looks like a Mr. Black Bream. Bremo Wemo. What's on a lie? It's a Scado Wado. Not a big Scado Wado. Scadaroonies. Not bad fish, not bad fighting fish. Play a bit dead to be honest, unless you get a big one, then they go alright. Fish on. Yeah, fish on. This one's going well. A bit of black bream. sort of bream you want guys that's the monsters I'm going on about that's a stunker of a bream look at that for a fish that is a fine black bream that that's a fine fish two mackerel as well I'm happy with that well guys that's another episode of Inglorious Fishing came out, we did the lobster pots, we had one keeper of lobster, uh, no brown crab or shanker or anything like that, and uh, I've got about 20, 30 mackerel and a load of bream and scad, so all in all, not a bad morning. Well guys, like I said, hopefully I'll do a little bit of turbot fishing tomorrow, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you tomorrow, so we're going to start making our way in now, hope you enjoy the ride in, some glorious fishing.
Yo guys, it's another episode of Inglorious Fishing. We have 30 mackerel, 40 bream, and 23 scad. So all in all, not a bad morning. Just at Grand's house now. I totally forgot to do the outro. I'm at Grand's house now, dropping off a mackerel. Anyway, if you like my channel, like, subscribe. Plenty more to come, baby. It's Inglorious Fishing.